The trees looked weightless. Like, I, I could not believe it. I was actually, like, in shock. The National Weather Service has confirmed tornadoes touched down here in the Miami Valley. They twisted metal and knocked down roofs and trees. Our news crews followed National Weather Service teams as they surveyed the damage. Good afternoon. I'm Cheryl McHenry. And I'm James Brown. We have live Team 7 coverage with John Bedell, Xavier Hershevitz, and Chief Meteorologist McCall Vrydags. John, you are in Butler County in the part of that community where the county EMA director and the National Weather Service told you they saw the worst damage from that confirmed tornado. And here's why, James and Cheryl, look at all these trees down around us. Some of them have been snapped in half by this tornado. There's debris all around. And then look at this house, the roof torn clean off here by these winds. The dad here told me his son was inside and upstairs when this happened. In shock and all. And That's how right Nate Kuykendall described how his oldest son felt. Home alone and upstairs when Monday's tornado ripped over their house. The roof came off and he looked up and... Uh, was there when it was happening, so he didn't know what was going on. Nate says his son ran downstairs with the dogs to get out of the house safely. Just moments earlier, his neighbor Jim told us he was standing in the street watching the storm roll through. All of a sudden, I just seen all the trees shaking, and a, it was like a wall of rain with hail. I mean, it was straight, and it sounded like a freight train. That's when Jim says he realized what was happening as the cornfield started spinning. And as it was spinning, it started rising up, and I, I looked up, and I could see a funnel drop. And it dawned on me. <laughs> I'm standing here watching a tornado. And so I ran straight into my house, got the wife. We ran into an inner room, sat down, and you could hear it pass over. Both Jim and Nate told us they didn't need the National Weather Service to tell them a tornado caused this damage. They knew as soon as it hit. Walked back in that corner this morning. And you can see the, the trees are down. But the NWS visited their street Tuesday and confirmed this was a twister in this part of Butler County. And it was rotating. After it rolled through, Jim said he left his house again, this time to check on Nate's house across the street. I, mean, I ran up there and yelled, everybody okay? I didn't know who was in the house. And he was downstairs by that time. And he, he said, I'm okay. He said some debris hit my hand but because he said he was upstairs when it went, the roof and everything. And uh, thank, thank the Lord. The Lord was good. He was, he was okay, and there was no injuries. Everybody's okay. Everybody's safe. That was all most important thing. It's all that matters to us. And Butler County's EMA director told me nobody reported any injuries anywhere in the county after these storms on Monday. We were with the National Weather Service as they surveyed this property as part of their storm damage survey today. We'll have what they had to say about what they saw here when I join you new at 6. For now that we're live in Butler County this afternoon, I'm John Bedell, News Center 7. All right, John.